What's up, YouTube? Graver here, and today we're going to be talking about, if you didn't already figure it out from the beginning, but this beast that I got from Adrian at APOC this year. Uh, this is a Benelli shotgun kit for the Nerf Magnus Blaster. It basically just converts the pistol into a shotgun. It still holds only three rounds. Uh, I will go over the modifications done to this blaster obviously other than the obvious when we go up to the workbench because i want to do the workbench just so you guys can see a in more close-up detail the modifications and how the blaster looks closer up um it's mainly 3d printed and pvc parts uh there is an upgraded spring in here and it also has a dart holder for six additional shots. So, and other than that, the the black and the red that he used for the um, cheek the cheek rest and the uh, pump handle are just really good. So let's go over to the workbench and take a closer look at this bad boy. Okay, so here we are on the workbench, and as you can see this thing is so big it doesn't actually fit on camera um which i am totally fine with because this is a really really nice size blaster um but to since i did put it on the bench to really showcase in more detail of what's going on i'll lift two and you hopefully will be able to see a little better but so we'll start off with the front and work our way back so we have the orange cap here which is a 3d printed part to you know for obvious safety purposes because you want orange on here if you can't have an orange magnus with orange uh parts on this you'll definitely want this orange cap on here um i suggest definitely getting the red then because not only does it really look nice i don't know if um sites that do sell these offer a different color than red uh you could probably ask for the orange i'm not 100 percent sure you'd have to check with them uh especially since i didn't get this from a site um moving forward or you or still here but uh here you also have another 3d printed part which is the um cap for the shell tube now this is completely here just for aesthetics there's nothing that goes in here um, as with the normal Magnus all the ammunition is loaded right here nothing goes in here so this is basically just support for the actual pump grip and the pump grip again is a 3d printed part but Adrian put so much love into this that you cannot really tell it's 3d printed he has sanded and smoothed and resanded and painted and sanded and God only knows how much time he actually put into this, but damn, it looks good. Um, on on here, this is a, I believe this is metal. Might be Delrin. This might be a Delrin rod, but yeah, I believe this is a Delrin rod. Um, so this is a Delrin rod holding on the pump grip, which is obviously used to prime the slide like it would normal. Uh, the barrels here are actually one are one inch diameter um, PVC pipes and that's inner diameter not outer diameter uh, moving to the body of it you have this plate which covers up what would be usually exposed on a normal Magnus um, it's really just a rail attachment so if you wanted to put like a small optics like this iron sight or ring sight um, or if you did want to put in a, a red dot or something like that, you could. Uh, this doesn't have a scatter shot. It is a solid dart. So, And speaking of, you also have a six dart uh, holster on the side here, which very easily and very snugly holds the darts. Slide them in from the top and you just pull them out from the top as well. Uh, in some cases, you can get them through the bottom of it, but it does tend to stick and also 
if you do it on the wrong one, you run the risk of really kind of messing up your dart, which you don't want to do. Um, here on the slide, you can see it obviously was cut, um, and that was to accommodate, whoops, sorry, you can see here that it was cut, um, and that was to accommodate the stock attachment point, well, not attachment point, but the stock point on the back end of this. Uh, it does add bulk to it, and since it is also where the stock attaches, it is a bit bulky, so you need to cut down the slide in order to actually accommodate for this. So, and this is within like millimeters of, you know, of where it needs to be. So, I mean, it's, it's a flush cut and a very good cut. So when you prime it back, you're left with no open gap or anything like that. You could, if you want, just square it off on the A or just like under the A, just square it right off, but then you run the risk of also losing that screw port. So this angle is the best. It'll probably be something you'll have to fiddle with though. Um, and then going on to the back end, this is the last bit of the kit, and that is just the grip and the stock attachment plate. Uh, the grip is 3D printed, and I unfortunately had a small little hiccup with mine. There are holes on the bottom here where I'm guessing if you wanted to have, um, if you wanted to kind of attach these to the handle so that this doesn't come off, you probably could. Uh, mine came off and I felt a small little snap, which is what this line is here. And unfortunately I had broke this bottom plate off. So right now it is super glued onto the bottom, which is also another reason why I'm not opening this. Because A, I don't want to rip this off, and B, there really are, other than the spring, there is no internal modifications on this. So if you've opened up a Magnus before, it's what would be there to begin with. Um, the infill was really thin. Um, it was, this is almost practically hollow. So I can see why it snapped because this would have been the, probably the biggest stress point on here. And honestly, I don't blame anyone but myself because I was not handling it properly. So that's on me and, but it's fixed. So it's fine. And believe me, this ain't coming off again. Now to the stock point, um, this is basically what you would find on a Benelli. It is a two position stock. It's this position here. And then you can pull this little piece up here and position it for an extended stock, which is what I like. And this is also not going anywhere. Uh, it's a very good stock attachment point and you can put pressure on it. I, I, you can see it's not going anywhere. It's good. It's, it's well manufactured. Uh, the plate here, this piece, and the locking piece are also all 3D printed. Uh, there is a spring in here along with a metal pin that actually is what sets it at uh, either position. And again, this piece, the red piece, there's no... On the outside, you can't see any kind of of like print lines or anything like that it's good quality work just like the front grip i mean honestly adrian outdid himself with this this is a very 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 good kit um and a very fun kit and that's gonna be it for this portion of it so bear with me a moment and i will give you my final thoughts on this my final thoughts on this kit um for what I paid for it, <laughs> it was totally worth it. Because not only did I get Adrian's version, um, but I mean, like, I saved myself a buttload of money without having to buy one now. This is a ton of fun. And I stress fun for the simple fact of, since this doesn't have the Centurion Clip Mod or the Tyrant Clip Mod or whatever you want to, you know, whatever extended clip mods this only has three shots so it's not really battle practical unless you're really really good at reloading fast um if it is hey more power to you this would definitely be fun to 
definitely take to a war. Um, I probably wouldn't be running this at a war. Um, I would probably stick to something like the Liberator or even the Monorail. Unless, again, I got really, really fast at reloading this thing. Because I know for HVZ, uh, Megas are usually utilized as special ammunition for specialized zombies and all that stuff. And also in some super stocks, they're used as shield breakers, that kind of thing. So, it is viable. It's just a question of how viable. It really depends on the person who's playing. Um, but, like I said, I think this thing is a freaking ton of fun to use. So, I may not be getting a second one, but damn it, I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this one. But, that being said, that's where we're going to end it for this video. So, as always, if you enjoy the stuff we do here on the uh, channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this kit. Would you consider getting it, or would you try and take a DIY approach and do kind of like how Captain Xavier did, make your own? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Ooh! And don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you not, may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel here. But, again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.